one of the two things that we're trying to improve on for our jellyfish project, that's tank raised jellyfish, is water quality. And the other is a better method of uh, separating and enriching the live brine shrimp. And so what we're going to do is build a wooden rack uh, right here and it'll hold three different hatcheries or three different vessels. One will be where we hatch out the brine shrimp uh, or they, they depart from their shell and then we're able to separate those two. The second one will be a uh, enriching uh, chamber and then the third would just simply be a grow out chamber. Um, and so we're going to build this out of two by twos and that's what our project is this Sunday afternoon. And with every good project, there's a plan. We've sketched out basically what we want the new stand to look like and how it's gonna work. So let's get to work. So with the basic framework completed, we're going to position the stand so that we can make sure of three things. One, that the stand itself is fitting into the application. Two, that there's plenty of room above the stand so we can easily and conveniently slide the hatchery or the vessel in and out of position and three, to make sure there's plenty of clearance below the hatchery once it's in position so that we can easily slide the containers that we're gonna drain the brine shrimp into in and out. And with a few modifications, we'll now finish the stand. These cross pieces not only help secure the structural integrity of the stand, but they also serve as attachment points for the lights we're going to use for hatching the brine shrimp. Once we position the stand, we'll once again go through and place the hatcheries or the vessels in position just to make sure that everything works as it's planned. As mentioned earlier, the cross braces also serve as an attachment point for some incandescent lamps. This is a simple 20 watt fixture with a metal reflector and an alligator clamp. It'll swivel back and forth which will allow us to shine it into one or the other vessel. We'll be using the light as the live brine which once hatched are attracted to light and this will help direct them to certain portions within the hatchery or the vessel itself making it easier or quicker to draw the live brine itself off. So the plan at this point is once the brine shrimp are hatched to drain the water from the hatchery or vessel down through these small containers. The containers have screens on the bottom of them and the basic idea is that we're going to strain the freshly hatched baby brine shrimp from the water itself and then move the live brine over into the next vessel. So that's the plan anyhow. So come on back for part two as we add the brine shrimp eggs and get the hatchery going and see how it really works out.